Hoggart. Look, Beyblade video. So I have no, I had no idea they were gonna ever need to do this. First of all, this is utterly insane. This is crazy. So we have Beyblade X, of course. It's officially we have the new character designs. We have the new bays. It's been so long since the Beyblade videos. So there's so much info, which I should have just looked it up earlier. But it's, it's on the Reddit though, so I got everything I pretty much could find. But that's what I usually do anyway, though. Like, it's like the Beyblade Reddit to see what they have, images and everything, and just kind of like copy, just like open the images. I'm gonna say open the images, put them all in separate tabs. So this is insane, though. I guess I am still exhausted though, but at work and stuff like that, of course. But this is awesome, though. I cannot wait for this. So we got all the new character designs. We got a little side, but not side, but we got, of course, you know, the main character. Like, we have no names yet. Of course, the side character. And they're all color coded, right, though? And the new character, I actually do like the design. He's like a. Honestly, she just, just look like a VTuber, honestly. Like somebody I would like we would have a VTuber friend for. But yeah, we got the E-Girls, let's go! Just kidding, of course, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, we got the Beyblade E-Girls, we got the Mecha side character, and of course we got the main character. But yeah, this is awesome, I like the character designs already though. Very colorful, very simple, very easy stuff though, like I said. Um, we have a whole bunch of new stuff, of course, and of course we got a little summary for it. In the extreme, it starts with the biggest new series, Beyblade. Our protagonist aims to surpass their, um, bladers, other bladers. With um, its heckle scythe, um, and be and become a pro blader, pro um, um a pro a uh, bay pro, um, prof professional bladers from around the world gather to um, compete in the pro league, and he head inside the X Tower. Hmm, not bad. A little description, of course, uh, for starting off the series. Also, thanks for the Tekka Tommy. Uh, what I didn't do before says in pretty much like with the new series coming out and stuff with that the toy series manga June twenty third will be getting switch. Okay, so basically Hasbro is just going Attack by Tommy. They're pretty much releasing you know, Babel X and everything. Of course, they got the new app showing up though. Um yeah, Babel is gonna be pretty much worldwide and everything. Hong Kong, South Korea, Asian countries. So pretty much Babel X is coming up and stuff like that. Of course it'll be um Dang it was gonna surpass Burst that was like in twenty fifteen. Dang, I mean again, Burst was in twenty fifteen and it survived all the way until now, so well it was twenty fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. We had almost eight eight almost nine year ten almost a decade of just almost a whole decade of burst and it was just the it flew by like I remember when Burst was first airing on TV. I was like, man, I wish I was a new Beyblade series. Then I saw Burst and I was like, Holy crap, this is cool. But yeah. Excuse me, but yeah. I'm excited though, like this is insane and I love it. It's just craziness all around. Pretty much they're gonna be releasing really Beyblade X around the world and everything, of course. Again, this is insane. Like this is utterly insane and crazy though, of course. Again, I love all the characters. I love the girls design more though, honestly. Of course the main character, of course that character looks good, but I don't know. There's something about this that just screams like she would be like one of my friends at IRL or a VTuber. I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to um culturize on that because you do have the manga like coming up and everything for them though, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with the info and everything. Of course, we got the new little manga, of course, images right here. We have um Heckle Safe. We got um I think it's like I think the names are very, very simple though. We got the green in the background, we got the blue bay, uh, which is pretty much the teaser. We got like, oh yeah, give me the main character bay, which kinda makes sense though, but also it was like, yeah. It goes the side character, pretty much three main characters. And we got the cops, yo, cops are Beyblades now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um all the new Beyblades, new launcher. Which is very like, similar to like when the burst first came out, I said that three little like points and like the line system and everything. Like I have like three little points and you can just like get rip the um bring back like, the point bay point system, like the more you rip the more points you get and everything. Unfortunately that is like gone by now. That's gone. Like that's discontinued at this point, so yeah. Which I don't mind though, um I mean it was a little little thing. Of course we have the new stadium which looks pretty similar to all the all the other stadiums. So got a little pocket, a little hole center, I guess for the battle. A little outside center, I guess like the ramps, like the um, like every series had like a new stadium with like burst, which was insane. Of course they promoted it in the anime and of course in real life. And really mainly has broke out a lot though, so so I do like that though. Little kind of little little stuff like that, I like. Um of course we got the new yeah, the new stadium, the new launcher, which is you know, the grip. The launcher looks like it's gonna be string. Of course, we got the new bay, which I think I had to, I had it up here. I think, yeah, right here. It looks sick though. It does look sick. Though. I like the blue on it, the silver. It's only golf spot. It's like, gonna be a tech type because like the sides, the three little points, the three pretty much the voucher, not the voucher sword right there. Yeah, it's very very simple though. Again, they said they were trying to surprise burst though, and this could be it. Like we could be seeing this though. Um, it's gonna be weird because you know we got burst, we got metal fusion. You know they made metal fusion into this. So I know we could get like an Achilles, we could get like a Valtrek in this like format. Because again, they did that for burst. Like, they literally took all the old Beyblades and made them into burst formats though. So we could see something like that. 
of course, we got the debate names right here. We got Drone Sword. We got um, Heckle Scythe. Um, oh, look like a like Ghost Rider kind of. I like that though. Um, this is a brand new one I actually saw, which I didn't think before. I like a combination of both like Draw Sword and um, Scythe, honestly. What, Co Cobat? I, was, I want to say like Cobat, like Snake? That was a rare bay prize to get. I think they were even teasing that already. Okay. Um, oh yeah, BX1. But probably like BB vs X. Like this is the first bay, the second bay, this is the third bay, this is the fourth bay. Of course, we got Wizard Arrow. Nice. Maybe it could be the Absorbing type of the series. You know, rubber. You know, it could be any new Fafnir slash El Drago of the series to absorb. Uh, sh Dragon Knight Shield, which actually probably could be a defense type. Probably could be, a, um, I want to say these two will probably be like attack types. So probably be like stamina. It's probably like big bike balance, like what Combat Drake. I want to say Combat Drake so bad, like Cold Combat Drake. I don't know why. I want. I'm just gonna call it Drake. So we got Drake, Scythe, Sword, Arrow, and of course we got Shield. I know it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I like the names. Very very simple. Doing it like you know, but like oh yeah, Bell and Fire. You know, you know, <laughs> King Solomon. I mean, again, the names already been so simple though. But it's like you know, the first part's Achilles, second part's the Infinite, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just. Makes sense and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, these bases do look sick, though. I like it. Very, very simple in design. Of course, we got the full breakdown for the base. We got the blade, the ratchet, and of course, we got the bit, pretty much the performance step slash driver. I like you just pop it in there. It look like you just, it look like, yeah, the blade's like all one. So it's probably like the attack type version of blah, 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 etc., etc. I like the attack type. This is like where you hold the bay in. Yeah, very similar to Burst, though. Like it comes in three parts. You look like you just like put like the, like you grab the first part. You put it under, like, you kind of, like, tighten it or just, like, step it on there. You, like, twist it with the bit or you just put it in there. Look like it might burst, like, burst, actually. Very similar to burst, again, three parts again. We Burst was kind of weird to get used to, but then we got used to it, so. I mean, hey, anything can happen in the future, so, yeah. Again, I can act about with this, stuff. So. I'm at the three parts, though. A lot of people are still like, oh, the three parts, it's like, hey, for real. Got the new stadium, though, of course, you know, trying to be like the anime, of course, trying to light up, like, you know, the light up trail was like, it's pretty much going to be confirmed the light up trail. That's not a little picture I slash edit that. It's part of the stadium, the green part right there, but it's part of the stadium. So, yeah. Of course, they'll be at the point system, you know, one point. Um, it's probably like a uh, survivor finish. Pretty much if your base still spinning, the bay, like, you know, pretty much dies out. Look like, yeah, they burst pretty much. Yeah, so we got burst 2.0. So it looked like, yeah, two points with the burst. You knock out the pocket in a yellow pocket. It looked like you get two points. And you get three points with um, a full on, like, you know, curve knockout, though. So yeah, three points, two points. I guess two points for a burst. So it looked like you just got to go with five points this time. One, two, three, four, five. I want to say five because last time for burst, you only need three just to win. But yeah. And of course, draw means no points. So pretty much like the point system from Beyblade. I do have a full breakdown for that, though. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Beyblade X will have the four point system. All you need is four points to win. Okay. One point was when you spin finish, two points when you burst finish. So yeah, bur <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much burst. Again, this is burst 2.0. You know that. Two points for over finish. If bay falls in the pocket, three points for extreme finish. If you have if the bay falls out of the arena. Hmm. Extreme finish. I actually like that. I like the idea of that though. So okay, that's cool. I gotta talk about that a little later. Because we got the packages for all the bases. We got the bay on the side. No main character on the side though. Okay. We got the main them in the yeah, extreme gear sports. <laughs> extreme. Sweet gear sports. I like that. Though. That's actually kind of funny. And of course, it looks like oh, I guess like them finishing off the bay though, like in a black and white kind of fashion though. Because are they all like that? Yeah. Huh. I don't actually like that though. Okay, I guess that's just, just the bay on the side then. The packages look very, very again, just very, very simple to burst again. Like I said, burst. Metal Fusion, they're all gonna share the same packaging, like, but they all look cool. I, I'm actually liking um, Scythe right here. I think he's starting to be with, like my favorite, though, even though it's like it's a very simple red because you know it reminds me a lot of like um, a Rune and Dragoon from um, um, Zero G, like where you had the um, red and silver. It's very, very similar to that, though. Probably what I like it. And I like the blue one, too. I like um, Drake and I like um, a sword. I like sword and I like Scythe so, so far. But sorry, yeah, and Wizard probably will be like stamina. Again, like when you hit the pot, like when you hit the side, it looks like it's gonna be full on metal though. You know, Beyblade, the girl, you know, Hasbro's girl. It's like, hey, here's all full plastic. Yeah, like I said, the good parts off the new anime soon though, of course. Um, I can release the base first, then of course get used to it, then of course the anime is gonna come off too, though, or the manga, however you wanna go with that. We got Night Shield. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the prize though. You can wear it here for Drake though. Yeah, it's like you can win him in a um, prize raffle though. Seem like you know, maybe like the more points you get, like the more um, it builds up, like you know, like, again, like Burst did though, where you, where you rib, you have like the, the three light up points, and you just like you know, rib, more points you get, like the more you um, 
rip like the stronger you, the more you get to the prize so like in the app and everything so this is gonna be a prize bay again that is gonna sell out everywhere because you know i've seen like so for silver wing edition phoenix everywhere now on amazon i've seen um faf like frost faf near everywhere on amazon uh blue frost um i call it blue frost F blue frost and gold um this spreads a requiem um Orc Room Sprig and how you want to call it though. But yeah, this is pretty much a prize bay you can win in the app and everything. So yeah, that's cool. Probably be shipped to you. Again, sometimes you have to have a JP mailing address though, because Hasbro never or English producer never really do stuff like this. But they like, yeah, we're gonna release it. It's also a rare bay, but they release it. And they did it for Rashad, they re released his red version for Hasbro, but no details or anything like that in the But yeah though, honestly. Like what I see so far, is it's, it's it's an adjustment to get used to though. Again, yeah, very, very similar to Burst though, where you got like the three point system and everything. Right here, you get very, very similar to burst. Like you, you clearly burst finish. Like I said, I wanted to keep that because the survivor finish. You got the over finish. Then of course you got the, um, the just straight up, just like extreme finish, like where you just ride on the rail. Like I said, they're gonna have the blue trim. But same, taking a lot of stuff from burst again. Like I said, taking stuff from a previous series and putting it to a new series, applying it to there. So how the characters would react. That we think how we would react. I mean, I don't mind. Like, that's good. Like, take some stuff, like, from Burst. You know, take some stuff from Metal Fusion, again. They, it's like a combination of Metal Fusion and Burst with me. Because, again, Metal, you know, the three um, parts you have to use. Again, very, very, it's like they combine Metal Fusion and Burst into one, kind of, with this, though. But, and probably, like, the three clicks as well, though. But, again, yeah, it literally just pop it in, then you twist it. But, like I said, it's very, very similar to Burst, where you just gotta click it and everything, though. But, yeah, though, it's a lot to take in right now. I like it when it's so far. Again, we'll probably get more leaks and news later. Wait, this is pretty much all these we count for right now, though. Again, the mod gun, like, these two teaser images are on Twitter pretty much. Sorry if I can't find any sources or links for that, though. But this is on the Beyblade Reddit, though, so I'll just link it below for you guys so you guys can go see everything. But that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over today. A uh, pretty more shorter video, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot the launcher. And another stadium, this, like, this one's black. I think the other one was, like, green. But I'm looking what I see so far, though, honestly. The new launchers, the new bays, they all look sick. The new um, images and everything. But yeah, though, see you guys there, though. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Great day. Pokemon. Good night. Make sure you stay safe. Watch this. Come on. All of you are going up on Mass on Twitter, Paper, YouTube. Give us a game. But I'll talk to you guys in the community. I'm sure you're going to be able to show you guys are awesome. So, what do you think about all, about all this new info? Do you like it? I like it so far, though. I like what I see so far. It looks clean. It looks nice. Overall, just good. I'm excited. I'm just ready to see what they can do with this. Very smooth to burst metal fusion, like I said, just kind of, kind of combining them into one. But I mean, I'm excited though. Glad I didn't make a show on this because I'm really excited for this. I want to see what they can do. Of course, we got the VTuber girl, the pop star. Of course, the typical cyborg, you know, science guy. Of course, we got the main character. Again, and they're all color coded yellow, blue, red. Again, I like it though. They're like very Digimon designs so. though. Like very, very Digimon designs. I don't know why. You know, a lot of just mixed feelings to think about the series. I like it though, but it's just so mixed up. It's like we gotta adjust to this because, but for the next four or five, maybe seven years, eight years, we're gonna gotta get used to this though because it's gonna make more bays and more releases though. But yeah, I'm gonna blow this video when I can though. See you guys there though again though. Peace out. Uh -oh.